Welcome to Horario. Today, I'll be dealing information and communication technology for class 10. Okay, this year, apart from last year, but you have studied, this year we have a very vast uh, syllabus to cover. The first unit will be the world of designing, where you'll be dealing about uh, gra graphic designing and all. And on our second chapter, we have publishing, where we'll be dealing with the uh, different kind of office softwares. And the third unit is attractive web designs where you will be learning about HTML, CSS, JavaScript and all. And then we have Python graphics. It's an interactive uh, programming way of dealing with uh, uh, graphics and programming. And then we have a bit of networking. Then uh, we have this chapter named map reading comes next that deals with the GIS which is a pretty new topic for you. I hope you will find it interesting. And then we have the working of the internet then an introduction to database then we have moving images and the last uh, chapter that is the 10th chapter is operating systems that you might find a bit uh, difficult but uh, it is pretty easy if you understand very well so we'll be going to the first unit the world of designing okay so when the term designing comes to your mind uh, what all things are there uh, related to de designing? There are fashion designing, interior designing, web designing, automobile designing, graphic designing and motion designing. Designing means uh, to create a sketch uh, or to create a, a, a create a process of workflow uh, to achieve something. Okay, so in this unit we'll be dealing with graphic designing only with graphic designing. Before going deep into the graphic designing. We have to understand what are the images, what are its type, basically what a digital image is. So there are two types of images, raster images and vector images. Okay. So there are two types. This is the first topic that comes under this unit, raster images and vector images. So uh, basically, first of all, we'll be talking about raster images. So basically raster images are made up of all pixels. A pixel is a single point or the smallest individual element in a display device. If you zoom into a raster image, you may start to see a lot of tiny little squares. And digital photographers that you see in a website, pictures you take with your digital phone or a digital camera, scanned artworks are all raster images. To make you understand, you may have heard about JPG images, PNG images, GIF images. GIF is basically animated images and BMP images. These are all raster image types. So uh, usually uh, we use uh, GIMP in an open source and Adobe Photoshop as a raster image editing softwares. Now let's go into vector images. Let us see what is vector images. Unlike a uh, raster, uh, we have understood that a raster have raster source every the data and data of colors of every images, every pixels in it. So the vector is a bit different. The vector images store the mathematical calculations from one point to another point in the forms of lines and shapes. If you zoom into a vector graphics, it will always look the same. And vector graphics are commonly used to produce logos and other symbol graphic. You may need to uh, use different sizes that have, uh, have the benefit of maintaining crisp, sharp edges even when they are significantly enlarged. Vector image types are .cdr, .ai and .svg. Here we have open source Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator. Then we have Corel Draw as image editing softwares. Okay, so here uh, for making it clear, I'll be showing, explaining to you. We have raster images. And here we have vector. Okay, so basically, so basically, how it works is that here I have an image. This is uh, the the dimension of this image is hundred pixels, hundred pixels to the right horizontally and 100 pixel vertically okay you're getting right so here 
it will be having 100 okay suppose there are 100 100 columns and 100 rows so total how many it will come okay yeah so there will be 10,000 pixels in total okay 100 rows so in a raster file it stores this image this is a black this is a red and this is a blue so uh, the the color of each pixels will be saved in a raster image but in a vector image it will store that there is a circle here just it shows that there is a circle in the center there will be some mathematical equations uh, stating the point and everything so what happens when you zoom a raster image is that when you zooms zoom means scaling you understand so suppose I am zooming zooming so this 100 pixel become 200 pixel okay so the 100 pixel becomes 200 pixel but what happens is that this same black is no more no additional detail are ca captured in this image because the the data of the each image will be same but when happens suppose here is also the same dimension i am calculating suppose when you uh, uh, enlarge and vector image what happens is that if you if you make it 200 and 200 the computer knows there is a circle in the center so it is easy for the computer to draw a large circle so the main advantage of vector files over raster files is that a vector file never loses its clarity while scaling understood now let us do an activity here let me go to my pictures folder here i have two images one is raster example dot png and vector example dot svg you should notice that there is difference in the file extension of these images as specified this dot png file is a raster image and dot svg file is a vector image okay so what i am doing is i am aligning, aligning it side by side okay now you can see both the pictures okay so you may notice that both the images are on the same size this is 600 by 600 pixels so that might come around 360,000 pixels in total both the images have the uh, raster example dot png is a png image and uh, vector example is an svg image but here when you see the file size of the raster example is more compared to the vector example here it comes over 24.7 kilobytes where the file size of the vector image is just 10 kilobytes okay now our real activity is to zoom the image so here i am going zoom see now i have zoomed to a scale of 2000 percent so this image is 2000 percent larger than its actual image while zooming you can see some pixels coming so that were the pixel that we are talking about okay now let us zoom our vector example here see no matter how many times you zoom the quality will not be lost okay i hope you get but see the major different uh, important point here to be noted is even this vector image not losing its quality it's just 10 kilobytes whereas that raster file loses its quality even with 24 27 kilobytes now let us compare raster and vector images so First of all, a raster image stores data about each pixels, whereas the vector image stores mathematical calculations from one point to another that forms lines and shapes. Okay, so 
we have seen in the previous activity is that a raster image decreases its clarity while zooming or scaling the vector image will not decrease its clarity while zooming or scaling okay and we have also noticed that our raster image is bigger file in size which we uh, happen to be 24.7 kilobytes whereas our vector file was just uh, 10 kilobytes where both the dimensions of both pictures that we use for activities were 600 into 600 pixels the file extensions are .png .jpg .bmp .zip png is a uh, portable network graphics and jpg is an uh, picture image bitmap file you know bmp and .gif is used for animations and whereas in comes in vector .svg .ai and .cdr now we have a small activity given in the textbook that i will not say any answers that you will have to find yourself so mark each one of the following as correct or wrong the first question is raster images are made of pixels the second question is vector images lose their clarity while scaling we have seen that third question is vector images have smaller file size compared to raster okay so i hope you will do your work so now let us see some graphic designing softwares okay so i have a uh, proprietary softwares and free softwares i believe you know what the difference of uh, proprietary software and free softwares are okay first we'll be dealing raster uh, softwares in the proprietary software we have adobe photoshop and adobe lightroom okay in the free software section we have gimp and image magic image magic uh, you might know it's um, uh, released by licensed by apache okay in the vector section on the proprietary we have adobe illustrator and corel draw and uh, in the free software we have inkscape and libreoffice draw in the that software comes with the libreoffice uh, package okay so let us sum up we have adobe photoshop and lightroom in the raster section and gimp and image magic in the free software section when coming to vector we have adobe illustrator and corel draw in the vector section and inkscape vector graphics editor and libreoffice draw in the free software section okay now let us let us talk about inkscape vector image editing software so uh, in your first unit it's all about inkscape okay so let us see how to open inkscape from applications graphics there will be inkscape okay so this is the window of inkscape now on the top side you can you can see the menu bar then below that there will be toolbar and on the left side vertically there will be the toolbox and bottom down there will be the color palette and there will be a page border okay so there will be menu bar toolbar toolbox color palette and page border okay so that's all for uh, this session uh, from the next session we'll be learning about the much about tools various uh, options given in the inkscape software uh, so if you have any suggestions or doubts leave in the comment section thank you